All right, guys, we're back with another one. It's a 2006 Pontiac G6. Uh, fuel pump is starting to go out. Uh, one of the main problems is when you turn your key to the on position and crank it, sometimes it won't start on the first one because it's not getting any fuel delivered up to the injector. So, yeah, I guess it's a common problem on these Pontiacs. So right here, we got the fuel tank taken out. So this new fuel pump right here, about 79 bucks, 80 bucks. Um, not too difficult. Just make sure you clean around the area really good before you pull it. As you can tell, I already have the new one in. But with the old connector, you still got that one, Brad? Well, I'll show you the old connector in a sec. But the new connector right here, it's a lot different. It won't be plug and play. However, these other ones will be plug and play. Now, this is the old one. You can see it's a little square one. And that one's a flat four pin. This is a square four pin. All you gotta do is just splice in the wires. It does come with uh, new butt connectors to it. So you gotta do is just snip off the old wiring harness and match up the colors. They are color coded, pretty simple. Uh, just make sure you got your vent for when you're filling up. This line will run alongside with your fuel neck. And then for the EVAP, you got a little computer right here and that goes into your evap canister and everything make sure you unplug that and then up front right here there's going to be an electrical connector you got to disconnect and then you got your two fuel lines and other than that then you'll be able to drop it but what i'll do is i'll get it positioned underneath the car and then i'll I'll do a install video of this. And if you wanna replace your fuel, the fuel center unit, the fuel pump, just do this in reverse. So it'll be helpful enough. It'll get you guys through it. But I'm gonna get this position underneath the car. As you can see, I do have it. The back straps are still connected. I just undid the front ones and dropped it down with that jack. And make sure you have about a quarter of a tank or less. Uh, you can see that right there. That's for part of your EVAP, I'm sure, maybe. And that one's your fuel neck. And then right there is for the vent. But all right, we're going to get this place underneath and start hooking it back up. All right, so we got the fuel tank up underneath. Um, let's see if I can get you up here so you can see. So there's the breather line that's hooked up. I got that filler neck put on. And then there's also this guy over here. There, we got that hooked up and everything. And then there's two fuel lines up front and then that wire connector is hooked up so now from here oh yeah we got our nifty little fuel tank holder with the board but now what we'll do is raise it up a little bit more as you can see it's All right, and that's it. So now the fuel tank is up there. So now we're gonna put these straps back on. Yeah. And then as far as like the exhaust, for us, whoever had this car before us, did a awesome job <laughs> with a custom exhaust. So what we had to do was yeah, can't take that off. So we just took out the rubber bushings. And then the same for right up there. You see that little hook? There's a rubber bushing up there we just took off. Yeah, so. But yeah, we're gonna get these two straps for the tank, bolted back up, 
and then we'll fire her up. All right, so everything is in. So now what we're gonna do is he's gonna cycle the key. And what that will do is start priming up the fuel pump. So you can do it again, Brian. So you can hear it there, it's priming up the fuel pump. And no, I didn't clean that cover, but it'll be fun. I don't see any new drips or anything on the ground. All right, so it cranked. We thought we had an issue with the fuel pump itself. It was turning on, but ended up being the fuel lines were crossed. So make sure you guys pay attention to which ones are which. Go ahead, Brian. So that's pretty much us doing a 2006 Pontiac G6 uh, fuel pump. So make sure you know which one is your supply line, because if not, your car's not going to start. <laughs> and then when you disconnect that line, it's going to have a lot of pressure on it. Fuel goes everywhere. All right. So for about 80 bucks, and I bet you could do it within an hour, have it done. It's pretty simple. All right, guys. Thank you for watching.